نحمد و نسلی علی رسول کریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری واحل العقدات من لسانی یفقہ قولی و جعل لی وزیر من اخلی اللہم فکہنا فی الدین آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ ٹرانسلیشن سورة البقرة ورس 177 لیسا it is not البرة بارارا means righteousness goodness virtue being virtuous laisal birra it is not righteousness an that tuwallu waw lam ya means to turn to rotate tuwallu is Basically an imperfect verb, wow alif at the end shows that it is the second person masculine plural. You turn, you rotate, wuju hakum, wow jim ha, waj means the face, wuju is the plural. Wuju hakum your faces. Qibla towards in the direction of al mashriqi the east, wal maghribi and the west. Wa and la kinna but al birra. The righteousness is man who amana. He believes. Hamza mim noon means to believe. And this is a perfect verb for the third person masculine singular. <coughs> man amana who believes. Billahi. In Allah, wal yawm al akhiri. Yawm means the day, and because it is uh, there is one alif lam at the start, it means it's not any day. It's not a common noun. It is a proper noun. It is not any day. It is the day, and which day? Al akhiri, the last day. And uh, what does it mean? The last day is the day of judgment. Wal malaikati. Malaika is the angels. And the angels. Wal kitabi. And the book. Wan nabiyina. And nabiyin. The root word is noon ba hamza. Naba means news or a piece of information. Nabi in Arabic refers to the person who gives news. These were the prophets who gave news about Allah, about the day of judgment, about the about the orders and commandments of Allah. And Nabiyin is the plural of Nabi. One Nabiyina and the prophets. Wa and Ata. Hamza ta ya means to give or to take. Ata. And he gives. This is a perfect verb for the third person masculine singular. And he gives al-mala, the wealth, 
the riches ala upon in hubbihi hababa means love hazir he here is a possessive noun for the third person masculine singular ala hubbihi upon or in its love now he here is a pronoun which can be pointing towards almala the wealth and then we would translate it as wa atal mala ala hubbihi and he gives wealth despite or upon its love that is despite the fact that the person has the love of the wealth and the desire of the wealth but still he he spends wealth in the path of allah and if he points towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then we would translate is that and he spends wealth upon or in the love of allah that is not for the worldly causes or for any worldly gains or any advantages in this worldly life but spending is just and just purely in the path of allah for the love of allah and then righteousness is the next thing is uh, and and whom does he spend on the vil qurba the v means the ones or those al qurba qaf ra ba means something which is near qurba here means the near relatives zawil qurba to those who are the near relatives wal yatama and the orphans wal masakina and the poor and the needy and the have nots wa ibn sabil wa and ibn means the son and sabil means the the passage the path the way now in the literal sense ibn sabil means the son of the path or the son of the way or the son of the road now this is the literal sense but actually what it means is the traveler the wayfarer wa wa ibn sabil and the wayfarer or the traveler wasailina sin hamza lam saala means to ask or to question sail is who asks who questions sailin is the plural form of sail wasa ilina and those who ask that is the beggars who are asking for help wa and firqabi and in the necks rikab means the necks that is in the freeing of the necks that is freeing the necks of the people from slavery from the clutches of slavery so the fir rikab would mean in the literal in the word to word translation we would mean we would say and in the freeing of the slaves wa and i i would want to mind you again and repeat it that the whole verse is explaining the concept of righteousness and this verse actually explains what and how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would define righteousness what deeds and what activities would be considered as the deeds and the activities of a righteous person wa aqama salata and he establishes aqama is a perfect verb for the third person masculine singular and 
he establishes as salata this the prayer the salah wa ata zakata and he gives zakat wal mufuna vow fa ya wafa means to fulfill to complete mufun will be those who fulfill or those who complete wal mufuna and all those who fulfill bi ahdihim ain ha dal means a covenant a promise a pledge a pact bi ahdihim bazir bi with ahd means the covenant their covenant their pledge their pact their promise is a when ahadu again the root word is ain hadal this is a perfect verb and wow alif in the end is showing that it is for the third person masculine plural when they make a covenant when they make a promise or a pledge waswabirina swadba ra means patience to have sabr was and swabir is the person who is patient who has sabr and swabirin is the plural of sabir was swabirina and those who are patient or those who have patience and tolerance when fil ba'sa'i in al ba'sa ba hamza sin means something in a worse condition in a poor condition ba'sa actually means a a bad condition a some form of suffering some crisis some calamity so al ba'sa i would translate it as suffering crisis or suffering what the ra'i zawd ra ra means something which is which is giving zarar which is giving a a defect zarra means hardships difficult conditions and hardships wa and hina time of al ba'si bad times difficult times times of stress times of suffering so now repeating this part again وَالثَّابِرِينَ فِي الْبَأْسَاءِ وَالضَّرَّاءِ وَهِينَ الْبَعْسِ And those who have patience or those who are patient فِي الْبَأْسَاءِ In suffering, in crises وَالضَّرَّاءِ And difficult conditions and difficult situations or hardships wahin al bas and the time of hardships the time of stresses and calamities ula ikallazina those are the ones who swadaqu they are true they are honest swad dal qaf means sidq means honesty and truth it is a perfect verb for the third person masculine plural wa ulaika and those are humud humul muttaqun they are al muttaqun wa qaf ya waqi means to fear to 
have piety so al muttaqun are those who are god fearing who are pious who have piety wa ulaika humul muttaqun and those are they are those are the ones who whom they are the god fearing or they are the pious now let's repeat the whole verse again it is a lengthy verse the verse of righteousness verse 177 laisal birwa it is not the righteousness and to wallu that you turn wujuhakum your faces qibla al mashriq wal maghrib towards the east and the west walakin al birra and but the righteousness is man amana who believes billahi in allah wal yawm al akhiri and the last day wal malaikati and the angels wal kitabi and the book wan nabiyina and the prophets so the righteousness the first thing which is uh, which is in the definition of righteousness is the belief belief in allah in the day of judgment in the angels in the book and in the prophets the next deed in the concept of righteousness is spending in the path of allah wa atal mala ala hubbihi and he gives the wealth in or upon his love or its love and whom does the person spend on zawil qurba those who are the near relatives wal yatama <clears throat> and the orphans wal masakina and the needy wabna sabil and the traveler or the wayfarer wasa ilina and those who ask or those who beg or other beggars wa firqabi and in the freeing of the necks and in the releasing of the slaves the next act of righteousness in this verse is wa aqama salata and he establishes the salah the prayer wa atazakata and he gives zakat wal mufuna bi ahdihim and those who fulfill their covenants is a ahadu when they make a covenant or when they make a promise or a pledge was sabirina and those who have patient and those who are patient fil basai in suffering was zarai and hardships wahin al bas and in bad times in difficult times in time of stress ulaika allazina sadaqu those are the ones who are honest those are the ones who are truthful wa ulaika humul muttaqun and those are they who are god fearing or who are the people of piety or those who are pious sadaqallahul azim